Hi. Now, for this last part, we're told that half the tall adult females have a height greater than h centimeters, and we've got to find the value of h. And so what I'd do for this is go back to sketching our diagrams for the normal distribution for the random variable x. And we know that it's got a mean of 160 and a standard deviation of 8, so the variance is 8 squared. Now in an earlier part, we knew that the probability of being more than 170 centimetres, which was for someone being tall, we worked out to be 0.10565. So if we know that half of them okay, are greater than this height h, where's h going to be on here? Well, it's got to be half of this um, probability here. So let's just say that this is our value of h here. Um, we've got to find this. So if I was to write this down, we've got the probability of x being greater than h would be half of this probability. But we're going to need to use tables, which generally work with the area to the left of any z value that's associated with the observed value. So if I came down here, okay, then this would be the z value that we'll be looking to work with. And so the probability of being less than h would be equal to all of the probability, which is represented by 1, minus the probability of being more than h, which is going to be half of 0.10565. So it's going to be 1 minus 0.10565 divided by 2, half of that. Okay, So this, when worked out, gives us 0.94717 and so on. So remember then, this is all the area to the left of h, which will consequently be all the area to the left of this z value. Okay, So if I shade that in there, can you see that this area here then is represented as 0 0.94717, okay, and so on. And so from our tables then, we can look up the probability of being less than this given value of z. And we're looking for a value that is close to 0.94717. So I've taken just an extract here, and you should find that the z value that you're interested in, which is closest to this probability here, is the 1.62, which is 0.9474. Okay, so what I'd want to write here is therefore from tables, essentially we see that the probability of z being less than the observed value z, which gives us 0 0.94717, okay, and so on, this probability here, is approximately, okay, we'll say therefore z is approximately 1.62. Now, we should be familiar with the fact that, I'll just write here, since any z value here is equal to the observed value from what we've got up here, which is going to be h in this case, minus the mean, mu, all divided by the standard deviation, sigma. So from here, it's going to follow then that what we've got is 1.62 must be equal to h minus the mean, which is 160, divided by the standard deviation, which is 8. And if you rearrange this for h, you'd find that h would equal 1.62 multiplied by 8, and then you would add 160. And that comes to 172.96, which to three significant figures is just going to be 173 centimetres then to 3 SF. Okay, so I hope it's given you an idea on how to do that if it caused any problems.